everyone, I'm Sam. And, my, and I'm Ari. We're here to start off your day by bringing you the latest in Belgian news. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Tuesday, January 17th. It is Ben Franklin Day and a silent reading day. Your reading logs are also due. Please hand them in for a ticket as well as a hero point. What's on the lunch menu today? Our lunch for today will be a spicy chicken deluxe sandwich, nachos with meat and cheese, a hammer turkey and cheese chef salad, and a buffalo chicken ranch. Our sides will be refried beans with broccoli and cheese. At a CES, CES convention in Las Vegas, Nevada, Two prototypes of a, ga a new gaming computer were stolen. These computers were called Project Valerie and Razer, and the company that made them are offering $25,000 for the return of these pieces of technology. The computers were built with three 17-inch screens, so gamers wouldn't have to deal with three computers monitors with a messy desk. This weekend, weekend Ringling Brothers and Barham and Bacchus so it will be cl closing down today and completely. They are the oldest circus act, which now means this form of entertainment has died. Their attendance has been dropping off ever since they cut out the use of element elephants almost a year ago. Entertainment at the presidential inauguration on Friday is being worked out. R. Kelly struck down rumors that he won't be performing at the ceremony. A message on Thursday said... Despite the rumors circulating online, R. Kelly will not be performing at this year's inauguration ceremony. Now to Wes with your sports update. Take it away, Wes. Today, Belzer Wrestling has their first meet. They will face Greenfield Central Junior High School at 5.30 in an away match. Also today, 7th and 8th grade girls basketball will play at New Augusta. 7th grade starts at 5.15 and 8th grade falls at 6.30. Last week, Paul George debuted his new signature sneaker with Nike against the Denver Nuggets in London. The new shoe, dubbed the PG-1, is a low-cut basketball shoe. Paul George has now joined LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant as Nike's signature athletes. And now here's an interview with one of our female basketball players. Uh, how do you feel about the no. basketball team? Um, I'm happy I made the basketball team. I now get to be with people that I haven't met and I get to control my attitude. <clears throat> so is that the reason why you joined the team? Yes. What do you look forward to? Um, getting to play people that I play with in AAU around different schools and getting to enjoy just the time being with people that I enjoy being with. So, are you looking forward to your next game? Yes. So, why, why? Why? Because I know that I can show my team what I'm capable of, and I know that this will be a great game for us. So, how has track practice been treating you? Um, it's been going good lately. We've been struggling a little bit with our plays going to action, but I think we'll get it when we play in our game tomorrow. Okay. The whole school will be ready for you. Thanks, Wes. After school, it's available on Monday. In the media center to get some one-on-one -on -one assistance. You do not need to commit to every week. Just come when you need extra help bring it, to bring up or keep your grades up. January is the time you order your yearbook. The cost is just $30 for photos and videos. Bring in your money to C110 or order online at yearbookforever.com. The interesting fact for today is there are four NFL teams who have never played in the Super Bowl. The Cleveland Browns, Detroit Lions, Houston Texans, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Our celebrity birthday is Michelle Obama, who turns 53 today. She is the first lady of the United States married to Barack Obama. On this day in history, in 1916, the Professional Golf Golfers Association, or PGA, was founded in New York City. Our quote of the day is from Martin Luther King Jr., who once said, The time is always right to do what is right. Now to Mr. Harsha with the rest of our morning announcements. Have, Have a great, great day, day Bruins. Bruins. Good morning, Belzer. Hope, uh, hopefully you enjoyed your extra day off this weekend.
in celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Uh, this morning is a reading log day. I know this is a Tuesday, and it probably snuck up on some of you because of having Monday off. But today is a reading log day, and so your reading log should be due today. So we're going to do two things on that. First of all, um, because it is the first one of this semester and because it's coming off of this weekend, we're going to go ahead and allow students to turn that reading log in through tomorrow. So if you have yours today, outstanding. Get that into your college prep teacher. If you need to turn it in tomorrow, we're going to have a one-day extension this week. We're also going to change something. Um, in the past, so far this semester, what we've been doing on most weeks is allowing students who turn their reading log in to fill out a little ticket. And then out of all the students that turn in their reading logs and turn those tickets in, I usually draw somewhere between 20 and 24 names each week, and then those students get a prize. We are going to change that system. With our new hero tracking system and our positive behavior system, we are now able to assign points so that every student who does exactly what they're expected to do by getting their reading log completed and turned in on time will get a point. And therefore, it's not just a raffle system and you have a chance of getting something. You will earn a merit point and therefore be able to sort of cash that in at the end of this month. So, teachers, I need your help. Instead of having students fill out a ticket, if they uh, have their reading log done today and or, and or if they get it done by tomorrow, they will please receive one hero point for responsibility. Again, that means they have met our expectation. They have been responsible to complete their reading minutes, to get it signed by an adult, and also being responsible enough to bring it in and turn it in to you. So uh, go ahead and log in, teachers, to your hero program. If you have any issues getting logged in, if you have any issues with your roster, please let Mr. Bergman know. You can also let me know. Um, I'm going to make sure today that those rosters, those are supposed to be updated every single night. So if you're pulling up a roster and you're still seeing your roster from last semester, um, I need to know that because that should be getting updated. Um, but again, congratulations and thank you to the students who are doing exactly what we ask by getting their reading log done and turned in today. Those of you that forgot, we're going to give you that one extra day of buffer this week and you can get that turned in tomorrow for your one hero point for responsibility. That's the only announcement I've got for this morning. Let's make it a great Tuesday.